This is Alfred and Thayer Nicholas that we had an association with. We had a grant he also worked with our kids company. And this is Sean and John Scott, twins that perform with our company. And here they are with Alfred. They went backstage to see a performance of Gregory somewhere. And Gregory Hines always invited people to join him in a tap jam. Every tap dancer needs a tuxedo. And every tap dancer should probably have a sailor suit as well. These photos of Alfred um, were taken in the early 90s and one of these was actually made into a huge poster that was put over the door of the olive entrance at the Colburn School where Alfred taught for 30 years. With the new building now I'm not sure what they did with this because they put a building where the door used to be. This was from the cover of the Orange County Register when Alfred performed with Pacific Symphony and these are some solo pictures of him from the early 90s. Most of our photos were in black and white because most of the newspapers did not print in color at the time. This is one of Alfred's favorite ways to end a dance, and you'll see in some of his group pieces the same ending. Alfred loved doing television, whether it was a kid's show like this one, or whether it was an international television film. And um, he actually choreographed and danced on the Horn and Hard Art Children's Hour for years when he was a kid. This is the two of us in another LA Times shoot, he with his electronic tap shoes, and me with my tennis rackets. He invented a way to make his feet release electronic sounds in the early 80s. Probably more than anything, this is why he became internationally known. He called it Taptronics. Now in 2000, Alfred and Sam Weber did a film in Germany called Two in Tales, and they played two brothers who in their tuxedos were fired from a nightclub job and wandered around the countryside, kind of fitting in whether it was a wedding or a funeral. And we went to see it a number of times when it was shown in the United States. This is Alfred with Sam, who was in it with him, and Channing Cook Holmes. Alfred and I often had to sell our own work, and this is the two of us at a Western Arts Alliance conference. This is us with Lucas Richman, with the Pasadena Pops when we worked with them. He also wrote a piece that Alfred performed with Pacific Symphony for tap dancer and electronics and symphony orchestra. This hard hat dance was choreographed by Alfred for his students at the Colburn School when they were in process of making the new building happen. A Korean star called Ok Soo Ri contacted Alfred she had always wanted to tap dance. She came and studied with him one summer, and it was one of the summers he was performing at the Ford with his kids group. And he perform she performed with him. And this was shown in Korea. It was really an early reality show, and she had always wanted to tap dance. This is another brochure that we did for LA choreographers and dancers that tried to show how Alfred and I did our work both separately and together. That we worked with children. That we were adventurous. That we did things like electronic tap dance or taptronics. That we had a kids group. That we worked with the community and did many school performances. Now this is Alfred at the Jazz Congress, which I think was about 2002, and his electronics. And this is an older photo that he always calls his gangster photo. He really liked this photo. This is Hiroshi Hamanishi, um, when Alfred directed a show called Caution, Men at Work Tap. And this is Alfred when we sent some of our dancers off to Taipei to do an international auto show. This is Alfred at the Colburn School with his family tap class. And this is Alfred in Zipper Hall rehearsing some of his older students. 
Alfred loved to dance with his students, and it would often end with him jumping on stage and dancing right along with him, like this picture. Again, here's that pose. It's the ending of one of his group dances at Zipper Hall. This was May 2006, and this was Glenn Edgerton of the dance program and Joe Thayer, the dean. This is Alfred at the Clayton Hamilton Jazz Orchestra when they performed at the Ford Theater. John, the conductor, had seen Alfred dancing to his music at the Colburn School and invited him to come and be on his program and bring his group along. Alfred and Cheetah Rivera were in the original West Side Story together, and when Cheetah came out to do her show in San Diego, Alfred drove out to visit it. This is a um, 2006 poster of both of our work, and these are photos Alfred took of his cats and his birds, and his cat sitting on top of the birdcage. This is our window in our kitchen with the old community school sign before it became the Colburn School. This is a picture taken in 2005, as is this one. Alfred died February 14, 2007.